So let's quickly solve this interesting Hakaran challenge. It says tree height of a binary tree. So let's calculate the height of a binary tree. So given this binary tree, what is the height of a binary tree like this? The height is the distance from the root, from this root here, down to the leaf, uh, to the furthest leaf from the root. So we have, this is zero, one, two, right? That is fine. So what it means is if we have, maybe I can just use my whiteboard uh, briefly, I think it's gonna clarify uh, a bit. So let's see. So if you have a tree like this, and you have just one tree, and here you have none, and here you have none, in this case we have the height of zero. But if you have a binary tree and you have something like this, and you have something like this, and you have another one like this, you see that the height of this one is zero, the height of this one is one, this one is one, and this one here is two. So it means that we're gonna get the height of this, and we also get the height of this subtree, and then we take the maximum. So we're gonna use recursion to solve this problem. So let's go solve it and let's see. So the first thing we want to do here is to, first we know that the root cannot be null. I think that is part of the constraint. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna initialize two variables to hold the, the height of the left and the right subtree. So L is equal to R is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna say if root dot right, R is equal to height of root dot right. And I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to do the same thing for root dot left. If root dot left, I'm going to now calculate L is equal to height of the left subtree, which is root dot left. And at the end of the day, I'm going to simply return the larger of these two. So I'm going to just return max LR, okay? And this is basically it, and there's nothing more. So I'm going to go ahead to submit this code uh, to run it first and then let's see if we got it and then okay we failed two uh, test cases let's see we need to use one plus here so we have to say one plus one plus okay because uh, we, we, we already have the root so if we have a if you already have a child then that is one okay so I'm going to say one plus here so I'm going to rerun this code so you can see that it passes all the three uh, sample test cases. I'm going to submit this code and you can see it passes all the other test cases as well. I'm going to give you a big thumbs up for being here and also please remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you.